Here's another example in which the expression on the left side and on the right side of the equal sign can both be simplified, and we should try to do that before we try to solve for x. So let's look at the left side first. 5 plus 6x plus 4. You should see that the 5 and the 4 can be combined. On the left side, we have 6x plus 9. On the right side, the 9x and the minus 4x can be combined because they are both x terms. They are like terms. So the 9x and the minus 4x give me a 5x. And I still have the minus 4. So 5x minus 4. Now my equation is a little bit simpler. This simpler version, though, is mathematically equivalent to that one. Now I can get all my x's on one side. I'll get rid of the x's on the right by subtracting 5x. That will cause these to cancel out. But if I subtract 5x on the right, I also have to subtract 5x on the left. I have to do exactly the same thing to each side. On the left now, I have 6x minus 5x, which is x. And I still have the plus 9. So my left side is x plus 9. On the right side, the 5x and the minus 5x have canceled out, and I still have that minus 4. So don't forget that negative sign right there. The right side is negative 4. x plus 9 equals negative 4. Now, to solve for x, I get rid of the 9 on the left by subtracting 9. And the rules say that whatever I do on one side, I do on the other. So if I subtract 9 on the left, I subtract 9 on the right. The plus 9 and the minus 9 on the left cancel each other out. So on the left, I just have x. On the right, I have negative 4 minus 9. And that's negative 13. So the equation is solved. I know x. It's negative 13. Now once again, when I look at this equation at the outset, I would not have had any idea that negative 13 is the number that I could put in for x there, there, and there, and make it work. And I probably would not have been able to guess that either. I could, I could try some numbers for x and stick them in and see if I found one that worked. But solving this by trial and error would just be incredibly tedious, a lot of work, would take a long time, and I might never find the right answer. But this technique of adding the same thing to each side just lets me, in just a few steps here, work through this problem in a systematic manner and solve it, and I know with confidence that x is negative 13. That's the number that satisfies this original equation.